Hello, my soccer universe. I hope you enjoyed my homage to Maradona. If you haven't seen it, just go to my channel to the Hall of Fame induction. There's Maradona's, my video on Maradona, surely the longest I've done on any of these inductions, but Maradona deserves it. Absolutely deserves it. Um, my day soccer wise was pretty shitty, but that's for the next video, which you will get either today or tomorrow uh, after this one. And yeah, I am wearing Barcelona because we have La Liga back, but not only La Liga we are getting, maybe not uh, a league back, but we're getting another huge soccer nation back. And I'm very excited. This is the first real soccer weekend. In addition, it's Father's Day weekend. And I know there will be some nice presents for me. Let's start in La Liga. And yeah, I'm recording this Wednesday evening, so I have no idea how the Seville Derby ended. That's why it there's no result there. Um, but if you look at the remaining program, we actually have to look quite hard to find really exciting games. And I have to say the pick of the bunch is on Sunday at one o'clock between Bilbao and Atletico Madrid. I think that's a huge matchup. Um, the big boys, Barcelona is playing at Mallorca Saturday, very late. Don't like that kickoff. There's also um, Valencia Dora between Valencia and Levante on Friday. Could be an interesting one. Um, and yeah, Real Madrid plays Eibar, at, not at the Bernabeu, but in the uh, Stadio Rey de Stefano, their second stadium, more or less. And also Real Sociedad against Osasuna. Doesn't sound too boring either. Again, kickoff times are kind of late. I understand why they're doing it. It is hot in Spain. I don't like a 10 o'clock kickoff. That's the reason why I don't watch a lot of Liga Nosh typically. But let's also remind ourselves where oh, what's at stake and here are the current standings and with Barcelona two points ahead of Real Madrid pretty open race uh, Barcelona because of two points probably has the 62% chance but and Real Madrid only 38% chance but let's see how it will how everyone gets started will Messi play all the way fit so a lot of questions to, to be answered. Then we also see there's a tight, tight pack uh, from three to seven that all have realistic chances to making it into the Champions League. Um, although Valencia is only given a 5% chance, I still would count them in there after the last uh, season, although it might be harder for them. Sevilla looks good. Getafe, maybe, but I think Atletico Madrid if they could get something going, they are the one team that I would look um, for to actually do some damage. But again, we thought big things of them. And now the relegation battle is also still wide, wide open. I think Espanyol will have a hard time escaping. I'm actually surprised that Leganes is giving better chances of surviving than Mallorca, probably down to the schedule. Uh, and then, you know, although they're... I mean, it's not really a gap. I mean, Valladolid, Abram and Celta are all in there, but I'm more on the outside than on the inside. I also want to shed a little bit of light at La Liga uh, Dos, the Segunda División, where uh, we already had a first game this night where Alba Sete uh, lost at Rayo, a makeup game that was broken up, and we'll talk about this all uh, in the next video. But um, the, if we look at the table here, um, now after this game, everything is even. Cadiz is the big team that might win uh, the Segunda and also Real Zaragoza. Look, those two are head to head on top. And then there's a huge pack that uh, up until Rayo that has a realistic chance to get into the promotion uh, playoffs. And Rayo with that win now is that's uh, confirmed. So Almeria, Huesca, Girona, Elche and Rayo could get in there. Um, let's see about their chances of getting promoted. Um, I also want to point out La Coruña, the big La Coruña is in serious danger of getting relegated. So uh, with that, who are the teams playing? Um, we see Cadiz against, Cadiz against Rayo. That's a pretty big matchup Sunday uh, late. If you have the chance to see that, that one Zaragoza and Alcorthon should be a more uh, easy one. Um, yeah, I leave it up there if you're uh, interested in the second one. 
Then uh, let's move to Germany, where basically everything is decided, and still we have a pretty huge matchup between Bayern and Gladbach, which is a make or break game for Gladbach, who did not have a midweek game. Um, Eintracht, who had a midweek game, plays at Hertha, but I think it's all Paderborn Bremen. Huge matchup. This is a matchup that Bremen has to has to win. Mainz playing against Augsburg and Fortuna against Dortmund. This is this is probably the last chance where Bremen can make up necessary points and get themselves back into the safe zone, more, more or less. If Dortmund can beat Düsseldorf, Bremen wins at Paderborn and Mainz dropping points versus Augsburg, I think that would go a long way. I personally do not quite see it, but I'm let myself surprise. Also in the uh, second Bundesliga, it's a big dar derby day. I mean, we have to Dresden against HSV, which is not a derby day, but Nürnberg against Greuther Fürth. This is, Fürth is basically, I don't want to say South Suburb, but those two make a huge metro region in Northern Bavaria. And then there's also uh, in Baden-Württemberg, the Karlsruhe Stuttgart. That's also a derby. And if you want, there's a Bavarian derby between Heidenheim and Regensburg. So a lot of local flavor. Now Stuttgart better gets a win as does Ham Hamburg. Um, Bielefeld at Sandhausen probably can cruise a little bit. So let's see that. Let's go to Italy. Coppa Italia is back. I'm not excited about the first game too, to be honest. My Milan has to take on Juventus and yeah, it's the return leg of the semifinals. I actually don't like the scheduling. They now finishing up the Coppa Italia, then they finish up this broken round and Juve and Inter will have played quite a few games uh, should they move on, whereas Lazio gets rolling later. I hope that Lazio can schedule some sort of test matches to get at least some uh, repetitions, you know, have some competition to not start cold, where, whereas the two title contenders, you and Inter, already have um, two, if not three matches in them. So we have Friday, Juve Milan, it had 1 1 and at the first leg. Let's see where's going, no Slatan, most likely. And then Napoli Inter, I think that's a more exciting one, because uh, Napoli holds the advantage, but cold start and Inter probably rested. They were suffering the most from the, um, the back to back back games because they don't uh, change up the squad. So that might actually play in Inter's favor. And yeah, then next week we get already the Coppa Italia final and the first silverware in Italy is giving out quite impressive, quite ha ha happy about it. Not necessarily happy about the nine o'clock kickoff times because they initially said it will be at six, but yeah, nine, nine o'clock is, I think, fair and makes sense. Then we have Liga Nosh, and again, I don't have the late game as I'm recording that. Uh, Porto leads Marit Maritimo 1-0 uh, at halftime. Benfica only a draw. So here's the rest of the round. Um, I think I think Braga against Boavista is the traditional matchup there. The rest, Tondela Aves is a relegation battle, and the Sporting against Passos de Ferreira could be interesting. And lastly, Austria. If you watch the next video of me summarizing the midweek action, you will hear an angry long rant. I don't want to say much, but Lusk is just frustrating at the moment. And they'll have the big game against Salzburg. Salzburg free scoring form at the moment. Honestly, despite Lusk not having enjoyed the greatest of starts, um, Lusk is the only team that probably can give some trouble to Salzburg. Let's see. Given that, and that's another thing that I probably should, should look into these days, since we have the Reese restart, uh, home field advantage is gone, which I was not too surprised, but actually there are a lot of away wins disproportion more aware away wins than you would expect. So that's interesting. But yeah, Salzburg Lusk, the big game this season. Um, but this time I think it will be a decisive one. In February, Lusk won in Salzburg. So let's see. Anyway, those are my games. I'm afraid that Lusk will ruin my Father's Day. Uh, Milan will ruin the start of my week. But I'm excited about La Liga being back. I, I'm surely gonna watch, try to watch the um, 
Bilbao Atletico Madrid matchup and maybe a few more as, as much as I can catch them. And also the Bayern Gladbach matchup looks like one to look forward to and both Coppa Italia semifinals. I'm set. Looks like to be an exciting weekend. Anyway, let me know what you'll be watching. Give me a thumbs up if you found this uh, video informative. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.